Multiculturalism is a key component of Singapore's diverse society. And as one sociologist adds, the country's small land size means that different kinds of places of worship are often in close proximity. But there's one temple in the eastern part of Singapore that has not one, not two, but four multicultural elements. Ahmad Khan has the story. It looks like just any ordinary temple from the outside. But once inside, the difference is apparent. The Loyang Top Ekong is one of the few temples in Singapore that is open 24-7. It's also special because there are four multicultural elements under one roof. Hi, good morning. Hi, Newton. Yeah, welcome to Loyang Top Ekong. Yeah. We have three religions and one place. Okay, come, I bring you to see our okay. main god, Top Ekong. Ah. Okay. Tuapekong refers to the god of prosperity and is one of the main Taoist pantheons. Every devotee they come here to pray is our main god, Tuapekong. Mr. Tan says the temple's layout is similar to others, but what stands out are the ceilings. It demarcates the different religions and faiths within the temple. The Taoist section has the yin and yang symbol. Well, this symbol, which represents Buddhism, is one of the biggest in the region. You can say that it's the Asia biggest one, including we have a lotus, a part of Buddhism, and including got the 12 animal, representing for the year of the animal. Under this ceiling, there's what the temple calls a Chinese Malay shrine, Datuk Kong, which Mr. Tan says means grandfather or holy man. They can ask for the study more improve his language or what. Can ask for the good result also. And next to it lies a Hindu sanctum. It houses a two meter tall statue of Ganesha, an elephant headed god. I managed to witness one Hindu ceremony. I've never seen I mean, like any other place where you have this uh, in same place. Uh, Singapore is multinational, so uh, the Chinese gods are here, as well as Hindu gods. It's a sentiment shared by other devotees. It's quite unique because there's a mixture of uh, Hinduism and there's Taoism and there's Buddhism also. Well, there's all different Tao people from India, from Chinese or even like maybe foreigners coming here. I don't know whether you can find this anywhere else in the world. This temple is located here at 20 Loyang Way and it's been around at this location since 2007. But its history started way before that and it can be traced back to the early 1980s. The story began when four fishing buddies stumbled upon statues of Buddhist, Hindu and Taoist deities at Loyang Beach. They built a small hut from bricks and zinc sheets to house the figurines. It attracted many devotees who claimed their prayers were always answered. In 1996, the makeshift temple burnt down. But the Topekong statue was the only one that was not damaged. Through public donations, a new temple was built a stone's throw away. The temple's location then shifted one more time a few hundred meters inland, before settling on its current location less than two kilometers away from the original site. This temple cost $12 million and was completely funded by public donations. We demonstrate to uh, Singaporeans and maybe the rest of the world uh, that uh, it is actually possible to have different re religions under one roof uh, and, 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 then, and sharing the same space and maybe collaborating in, in other ways too. I think we all know that social cohesion is important and religion being one of the uh, more sensitive areas in Singapore or anywhere in the world, right? If people of different religions can get along with one another, share the same space and do things together, I think that's something wonderful and I think it might have a, a sort of ripple effect right throughout uh, the entire country.